Hey guys, how's it going? I am here and we are ready to get started with some um, phonics and reading for this week. So we are going to jump right in. This week we are going to review vowel teams again and that next week I'm gonna be teaching you some new phonics skills that you'll be able to <clears throat> use in your writing. So I'm gonna be sharing my screen again with you guys and this time I'm gonna be on the Promethean board not really the Promethean board, but the app that's on my computer. So you guys, um, we can look at and study some new words. So I was thinking about the letter Y and how we see the letter Y at the end of lots of different words. I was thinking about the word candy. And I know that when I, and when I hear the word candy, the letter Y makes the E sound at the end. But then I was also thinking about the word my and how at the end of the word my, I hear the sound I. So I know that Y can make the, those two sounds. It can make the sound E and it can make the sound I. But then when I was reading, um, when I was reading one of my books, I also noticed that I found Y matched up with a vowel team. And when looking at the vowel teams, those can help me, I can see what vowel is matched up with the Y to help me figure out what sound that Y is going to make at the end of the word. So I'm gonna share my screen and I'm gonna show you two words that we already know. Okay, so the first word up here, this is the word stay, and we have already, we've already learned in our vowel teams that the A-Y makes the long vowel sound A at the end of a word. I see that this Y is matched up with the A, so I know that I just need to make the long A sound when I see the A and Y paired together at the end of this word. Our next word down here, I see a Y at the end again, but this time I see the vowel O with it. So this is the vowel team O-Y. We did some investigating and we were studying um, O-Y and O-I, and we figured out that O-Y makes the sound OI at the end of the word. It doesn't make the long O sound, it makes the sound OI. So when I look at this word, I know this is the word J, oi joy so i have found another vowel that is paired with um the letter y at the end of a word and it is the vowel e like in this word so looking at a y and o y i know that i can use this vowel t this vowel e here to help me figure out what sound e y makes at the end of a word so looking at this e y makes the sound e at the end of a word and i can use this vowel t this vowel e right here to help me know that e and y together are going to make the long sound e at the end of a word so i can go ahead and sound this word out k e key so this is the word key today when you guys hop on dojo you are going to be finishing up building a word that I have already made. So we're gonna do some practice together and then you will have three words that you will have to figure out the endings for. Okay, so here I have the beginning of three different words up here on our board. One, two, three, okay? I am going to have to figure out, do I need to add a Y, ooh, sorry guys, a-Y, O-Y, or E-Y to make this a real word. So remember, A-Y makes the sound A, O-Y makes the sound OI, and E-Y makes the sound E. So I'm going to add each of these sounds at the end and figure out which word makes sense. 
Okay, so if I have sp, spur, ooh, three tricky letters, spur, now I need to add an ending. Spur, a, spray, let me try it with O-Y. Spur, oi, sproy, ooh, that doesn't sound right. Now I can try it with E, spur, E, spree. Hmm. I'm thinking A-Y sounds the best. So I'm going to add the A-Y right here to make the word spray. All right, cool. All right, now I'm going to move on to my next word. The first letter in this word is just B. All right. You might be able to make more than one word, and that's okay. You make as many as you can. All right, so let's look at B, and let's take the ending A, bay. Okay, a bay is like a body of water. B, oi, boy. Okay, we all know a boy. And then E-Y would be E, B, E, B. Okay, all of those to me sounded right. Let's look to see which ones look right because we know that we need to we need to make sure that it sounds right, it looks right, and it makes sense. So I'm gonna do bay. Does that look right? It looks right to me. It sounds right and it makes sense. Okay, let's do let's do boy b and then let's do O-Y. Okay, well we know that that one for sure makes sense and that it sounds right. And then now if I look at it, does it look right? It looks right to me. It kind of looks like the word joy from, I'll go back a page. It kind of looks like the word joy. So that makes sense to me. All right, and now let's do B. Okay, let's add with an E, Y. Okay, it sounds right, but when I'm looking at it, does that look right? Think about the books that you've read before. Have you seen the word B with a Y at the end? Mm, I haven't. So you know what, when I see the word B, I see it like that without the Y, B-E, or we see it with two E's. So I know that that word B-E-Y, it sounds right, but that's not how we spell B because it doesn't look right. Awesome, so we made the word bay and the word boy. I'm gonna erase this here just so that I have some room down here. Awesome, and then now our last one, Okay, I see D at the beginning, and then I see O-N-K, and I know O-N-K makes the sound onk. D, onk, all right? So let's try it with donk, A, donk A. Okay, let's try it with oi. Donk, oi, donk, oi, or now let's try with E, donk, E, donkey. Hmm, I think I know which one sounds right. Okay, donk, E, sounded the best to me, donkey, a type, that's a type of animal, all right? So I now have the word spray, bay, boy, and donkey. So this is exactly what you guys are going to be doing um, on your dojo assignment. I'm gonna give you three words and your job is to fill in the ending sound with A, OI, or E. Also, your other job is going to be to choose one of the two books that I posted up onto the Google Doc. You can choose to read the book Cleaning My Room or for a challenge, you can read The Animal Bridge. Choose one of those books to read. 
When you're finished, then you will jump over and on your own, this is not on Dojo, you will draw a picture and write a sentence to tell me who the character is in those stories. And then you'll also draw a picture and write a sentence to tell me about the setting. Where does the story take place? So you get to choose which book you're reading, Cleaning My Room or The Animal Bridge. All right, guys, I'll see you on over for math.